Hello and good day. So as a reminder, I will be in Charleston, South Carolina on November the 1st. So if anyone needs any help, uh, my email address will be at the bottom of this video. You can just reach out to me to see if we can connect while I'm in the area. Now, moving into my story for today. Um, I had a young lady that, that she, she reached out to me. Um, she had a lot that was going on. Um, a lot that was going on and her her mom had been taking her to different people uh, they, they've tried it all uh, priests pastors prophets even took her to a Freemason so uh, they were very desperate trying to get help for her because the condition that she was in so uh, the first thing we did was she set up a one-on-one -on -one deliverance session so I prayed over her so Immediately when I was praying over her, uh, her demon started to manifest. Her eyes were rolling in the back of her head. Her body started to like contort and shake real badly. So um, I knew we was dealing with some, some heavy things. So I decided to set something else up with uh, myself and on the young lady and her mother so we can all sit and so we could all talk. So her mom was just basically saying that her daughter had maybe been going through this for about a good seven months and all of this started from her uh started from her fasting so they couldn't figure out what was going on so she was fasting and she was uh reading the bible you know just trying to get closer to the most high god trying to get closer to yeshua so um this is why she was fasting the way that she was now um she fasted for like 50 days so it was a combination of dry fasting um fasting with liquids some fruit and little little food that she was eating so this put her in the hospital so she was in the hospital for two weeks i tell people uh 72 hour fast is really all you need to be doing you could do that once a month and um you know and try to do it with liquids and if you do need to eat, just eat like fresh fruits and vegetables with this, you know, and make sure that you're praying at least three times a day. It's really all you need to dry fast and can get very dangerous. So I don't encourage anyone to, to try to, to, try, to try to dry fast. Now, um, again, after speaking with the mom, she, 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 they, they spent a lot of money and um, her daughter seen a lot of people. Now, she went to go see a Freemason and this made situations even worse than what they were. Now, the Freemason did something called a spiritual guard. He did an egg cleansing on her. He prepared some type of bath and uh, was chanting over her. So this made the situation worse. Uh, Freemasons are attached to Lucifer. So uh, when, whenever you're having work done or performed by them, demons can enter you as well. So her mom was saying, I'm taking her to all these people and nobody can tell me what's going on. So... Uh, I started to look deeper into the situation to try to figure out and I could tell that these demons were really trying to throw me off they was trying to block me so uh, I really had to pray in order to get this information so next thing I know I just started hearing psalms 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 songs I started hearing it in my head over and over and over as soon as I started hearing it her mom said yeah because she was fasting she just kept reading the Bible she kept reading psalms and I told her mom, I said, that's what it is, because that, that, that's what I heard. So to find out, the daughter were, was reading Psalms over and over and over. You don't know what Psalms is. This is a book of the Bible. So it's called the book of Psalms. She was reading this over and over and over. Um, people don't know, but Psalms is um, it's a book of spells. So a lot of witches, warlocks, uh, even spiritual pra practitioners in hoodoo and voodoo use this to uh to cast spells and a lot of people don't know this a lot of christians don't know this a lot of believers don't know this uh witches and warlocks are also working out of proverbs so this is also out of the out of the bible as well so a lot of witches and warlocks will tell you that the bible is nothing but a huge book of spells so i've been telling people this for i don't know over a year ago now that the bible is very tainted it's very tainted uh, it's not god's word but uh all i do is just deliver the message and of course you make your choice on what you want to do now um for her from her reading 
these verses out of Psalms over and over and over. So Psalms are, these are spells that, 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 that you're reading. So she was casting spells over herself by reading them over and over and over and um, incantations because she was repeating these as well. So the same one that she said she couldn't understand, but she was just studying, studying Psalms for some reason. So these demons, witchcraft demons entered her, uh, things that entered her through working with this Freemason, serpents, Leviathan. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of things that have entered her. A lot of demons that entered her through, uh, through Psalms, through this Bible that she was reading. That everyone, well, I won't even say everyone because a lot of people are waking up. But a lot of people say, oh, it's God's word. And I can tell you, you would never... No one would ever be able to put a spell on someone or a spell on yourself if you're reading God's word. So all I can tell you is wake up, open your eyes. So, yeah, so this really affected her. Uh, these demons jumped in her, and they were the ones that led her to fasting for 50 days. They was trying to kill her. And when I was talking and commanding these demons to talk, that's what they said. Uh, the goal was to make her not eat at all. They wanted to destroy her because of the fact she was trying to get close to the Most High God. So I had to make a trip to her. I had to fly out to see her. And I had to pray over her. And as I was praying over her in front of her family, the demon started to manifest. Um, she would stick her tongue out of her mouth and move it like a serpent. Her eyes were rolling in the back of her head. The demon was uh, kind of like drawing back or crouching. As if, as if it wanted to come at me, but also it started covering it, covering its eyes as, as if it was seeing light and something was bright. So I prayed and I prayed. Uh, she started to to spit a white substance out, which that's the demons being destroyed. It'll, it'll appear to look like spit, but the demons look like that as well. Her body was shaking. So it was just a lot that was going on. Uh, so I am working with her, taking her through uh, deliverance. Now she's dealing with a possession. Um, and uh, of course she's hearing voices and um, seeing snakes um, she also said when she was in the hospital she saw something coming out of her also when she was in her bed she said she could feel like a dark force and this dark force was um, under her covers is what she told me this dark force was under her covers so again um you know, I read Psalms 91 and 92 is what I read. These are protection prayers, what we call them prayers. They're actually protection, I'm going to just call it what it is. These are actually protection spells. So Psalms is a book of spells. Uh, if, you, if you follow me and you watch my videos, I explain to you guys all the time. From what I'm saying with the spiritual stuff, it is two sides of everything. You have a good side, you have a bad side. You know, when people talk about crystals, they can be used for good, they can be used for bad. It's the same thing with this Bible. Um, these witches and warlocks are making it known that this is what they're doing. And these spells and curses are working. They are working. So, uh, you know, all I can tell you is uh, continue to fast and pray. A lot of this stuff is very, very confusing. It has a lot of people that are confused. I'm working with another young lady uh, right now who's been in and out the psych ward over 20 times. And after speaking with her, um, she was also reading Psalms too. And she said she noticed that after reading Psalms that her situation got worse. So again, you know, I can't tell you every verse that's safe, but I can tell you I read Psalms 91 and 92 protection prayers i don't read anything else i was always led to those two particular verses uh you know to pray over people with or to pray over myself with and um angels guided me with those verses that are the rest of the verses i i, I don't i don't know so anything that you, this is what i would suggest anything that you have to walk on eggshells to make sure that you're not casting spells on yourself um i don't know you know it may make more sense to stay away from it so again they're working these spells out of psalms and proverbs so i'll be helping this young lady yeshua will free her i'm gonna stick with her to the end until all of this stuff is removed from her and uh 
She is starting to feel a little better now. Everyone have a safe and blessed day.